and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be setting up my new refracting telescope for astrophotography. This is the Sharpstar Z4 Astrograph, meaning it's designed specifically for astrophotography and not for visual use. If you've seen any of my previous videos, I used to have a RASA 8, which is an F2 system. Being mainly interested in narrowband imaging, a RASA 8 with a mono camera and narrowband filters comes with its own challenges, so I'm excited for this telescope. Um, someone was interested in the RASA, made me an offer that I accepted, but went on for nearly a year trying to decide what to replace the RASA with. Um, so back to the Z4, unlike other designs, Sharpstar says there's no need to calculate back focus. What's interesting is some sites advertise a standard 55mm back focus. Sharpstar simply say it's 77mm to get to the focal plane. So if you use 55 as your standard, my assumption is you'll probably have to extract the focuser by 20 millimeters. The telescope has an aperture of 100 millimeters and a focal length of 550 millimeters, making this an F5 system. The design is a six lens construction with two ED lenses, front and rear. So there's no need for additional flatteners or reducers. The telescope comes standard with a 3.3 inch rack and pinion dual focuser, but I have plans for this focuser, so stay tuned for future videos. The dovetail is a Vixen style, and I'll be replacing this with a beefier Losmandi in a second. Weighs in about 5 kilos and is just under 500 millimeters in length. It's somewhat a gamble, being my first refractor, with very few user reviews and not many users on Astrobin either. Either way, I'm excited to test this. Stick around while I put this together. First impressions are the design and build quality appear good. It's well made, and I like the dark finish, making it less conspicuous in your backyard as you image the night sky. Um, so what I'll do now is just um, start to put all the pieces together, um, stick around, and let's see how it looks at the end. Okay, so I've noticed a problem here. Um, the tube rings that I got are 115 millimeters in diameter, and the OTA has a diameter of 112. So I have about three millimeters of free space, and when I rotate the um, the telescope, you can see that it's moving, and you know when this is mounted on your mount, it, it shouldn't move. Otherwise, uh, that could either damage the telescope or ruin your subs. So, I ordered something on Amazon. Um, I believe this is just um, some felt, um, and it's self-adhesive. Um, so I've cut this up into individual um, pieces, and all I'll do is just insert. Um, one on, on either of the rings and, and see if that helps us.
Okay, so that's one in. Just make sure that's firmly seated. Yeah, and I can tell that the, the quality of this material as well is very similar to the, the actual um, material used in the in the tube ring itself. Um, so it, it shouldn't introduce any slippage or, or slide. Um, it should firmly hold the, the telescope in place. Um, I can also tell that this is a lot more than three millimeters. Um, so this will definitely hold the OTA in place. Let's just insert the second one. And there we go, let's carry on. Um, everything's attached. Uh, looking forward to using the 
telescope for the first time and hope you join me for later videos. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.